Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being seen and shared. Celine Driver once again, uh, bringing to you a, another unboxing and review of a watch that is not mine. Uh, this watch was uh, yet another uh, watch that uh, came to me via the Random Rob Discord group. Uh, this is a, a group um, of uh, fellow watch enthusiasts uh, who have um, paid a, uh, an entrance fee, if you will, to uh, Random Rob, uh, the owner of the Discord group and the owner of the Random Rob YouTube channel. Um, this Discord group uh, offers uh, various um, benefits for the uh, for the fee that you pay, uh, access to uh, like-minded folks, of course, access to tour watches, access to um, um, the Random Rob Sunday Fun Day watch sales, um, the Flippers Paradise uh, subgroup for buy, sell, and trade between uh, the Discord folks, all kinds of great things for a very nominal fee. Uh, one small subgroup of the Discord server uh, is a bunch of us uh, fellow YouTubers that got together to exchange between us uh, microbrand watches that are in the <clears throat> early release or pre-sales release state either through their website or through places like Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Uh, these are watches that have been given to us to review, uh, get, the, uh, get them out there, give, give our opinions of the watches, and then pass them on to fellow YouTubers. A, just such a watch uh, arrived on my doorstep just recently from a company called, and I hope I get this right because it is a French company, Yes, French company, uh, New Carl. And now French language is a funny thing. So, you know, I've seen 20 wor letter French words, you pronounce four letters. So I don't know. I'm gonna go with New Carl because that's what it looks like. And if I'm wrong, sue me. Uh, this is the Sept Mai. Now, how do I know it's Sept Mai? Uh, well, M-A-I, I believe is uh, Mai or something like that. And Sept is short for September, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go with Sept Mai. Uh, I don't know what that means. It sounds a little made up to me, but I'm probably wrong about that too. But um, this watch is um, very nice. It is a hand-wound watch, as you see there. Uh, and it uh, there's their website, newcarl.com. I will leave that in the uh, description as well. And their motto is to ensure positive emotions through design. Hashtag dress watch, hashtag micro brand, hashtag new Carl. Very nice packaging, very silky uh, box to the touch. Um, nicely designed has a little sort of a, almost a magnetic type closure, which closes very positively with a nice thunk. Inside the box, very simply adorned, is the another credo of theirs. We need design, we love independence, we are New Carl. Very nice. And inside, in a nicely cut out, um, padded, uh, bed is the set my which is uh, their offering now there are six different colorways of this watch I will go into those in a little bit but suffice it to know that this one is called the Roma edition uh, it is um, to my eye, that is uh, either very very shiny white or a silver, or perhaps a little bit of both, but uh, all white dial, little hints, little inserts of silver in the mid track or the mid dial and that silver 
inner track with the uh, minute and uh, minute indices, hour indices are out in the outboard track. Well, they also could be minute indices as well. They're sort of duplicated, aren't they? Very nice. It is a hand wind movement. You can see it banging away there. Um, no rotor. So this is not an automatic. We'll get to that in a minute. And you can see this is uh, called a Founders Edition uh, 00 of 99. That means being that this is serial number 00, this is a prototype or a distribution model, if you will. Let's see. It is a hackable movement, as you can see. Very nice, it's very nice. Beautiful polish on the, um, on, the, uh, on, the, on, the, on the case. It looks like the case comes apart in two sections with those screws. It looks like the, the watch will pull away from the, uh, the lug area here and the case back. So it's a very unusual design. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to take the watch apart. It's not mine to take apart, but uh, very nice, very nice. Comes on this, um, I'm going to call that kind of a teal blue strap. Brown on the underside, but teal on the, on the face. Uh, now, the website says that this watch comes with a black uh, strap. Uh, it didn't really have an option to change the strap color, although they do sell the straps separately. Um, uses quick release spring bars. So I guess they just decided to ship the prototype or the sample out to the world on the, uh, on the teal strap with a uh, stainless steel buckle, which is signed, of course. But uh, beautiful watch. The only problem I have with this watch all the time that I've had it is the strap is very small. It, now, you can, I'll put it on here and you can see I'm on the second hole of what appeared to be, what, five holes in total? Here, I'll, I'll take it off and count the holes for you real quick. Um, hang on, bring it out to you. Yeah, five holes. That's it. Now, I don't know if that was done intentionally to send this thing out on a, on a small strap or what. Or maybe, you know, the French designers have small wrists and they assume that everyone has small wrists. But I think this is an oversight on somebody's part. Um, I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist. And I'm on the second hole from the from the uh, from the tip. So we're we're thinking maximum size on this thing is for a seven and a half inch wrist. Um, you know, I have some friends with with seven and three quarter, eight eight and a half inch wrists that would love this watch. I mean, it's a it's a good size watch. Um, and it's a beautiful dress watch. But they couldn't wear it unless they bought an extra strap or something like that. And I think that's a mistake. Um, I think that I think this is a mistake. And you can see it's actually a little bit tight on me. On now, if I put it here, it's too loose for my taste. But here, it's like it it feels tight. There's no way to move the watch around. And if I I'm gonna put it on the um, first hole there real quick there and you can see now I've got good movement but that's on a seven and a quarter inch wrist and actually I would probably wear it there more often than not especially if I went outside in, in Florida heat um, my wrist will swell up very quickly but I'm, I'm, I'm on its biggest setting with a seven and a quarter inch wrist I've never seen anything like that before so this is a problem guys uh, this is a problem to the to new new call uh, if you're watching this video 
I think you might want to rethink this. But otherwise, it fits beautifully. It has a very short lug, uh, lug to lug, and it fits my wrist beautifully in terms of the head itself. It's just, I, I guess if I'm, I'm buying this watch and New Carl isn't offering a bigger strap than this, I guess I'm going to, um, to my favorite guys over at um, Collareb and ordering a bigger strap. Um, just so it's more wearable. Because if I go out in Florida heat right now and my wrist swells up, this watch gets very uncomfortable. But otherwise, I mean, it's a beautifully made watch. It's beautifully done. Um, beautifully executed watch. And... Not a lot of decoration to the movie. They did put a little logo on the uh, on on one of the bridges, but they left the movement pretty much the way it comes from. Uh, in this case, it's Solita. Uh, it is an SW two one five dash one hand wound movement. Um, so definitely a watch you have to keep up with. But let's go over some of the uh, statistics here with my sheet of facts here. As I said, this is the New Carl Set My. This is the Roma edition. This is one edition of, of six watches that are available or will be available. I'll go over that in a minute. It is a hand wound movement. The movement does hack. Um, but it is a hand wound movement, so it will have to be uh, babysat, which is not a bad thing. Uh, 41 millimeter diameter case. All these measurements, by the way, came from New Carl's website, which I will link to in the description. It's a 41 millimeter case. It's a 45.8 on the tip to tip. 10 and a half millimeters thick, and that includes the domed sapphire uh, crystal. Double domed, actually. Um, it is a 20 millimeter lug width. The case is 316L stainless, as is the buckle. A very nice high polish. Uh, you do get sapphire crystals for the, for the price. You get double dome sapphire uh, up front. You get a flat sapphire crystal on the back. It is 50 meters water resistant, so uh, you can get it wet. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can get it wet. Uh, I wouldn't swim with it. This is not a screw down crown, but you know, if it gets wet while you're washing your hands, you get caught out in the rain, um, it gets dropped in a puddle, uh, you know, minor wetness like that, but uh, taking it swimming, not recommended. Uh, as I mentioned, there are going to be, at some point in time, six different colorways on this watch. You can see them all on their website, which will be linked in the description. Right now, there are only three in stock. There's the Roma, which is this one. The Berlin, which is a uh, black, uh, it's bl where this is um, white and silver. Uh, that would be black, and the indices would be blue. And then there's the Founders, which is a gray dial. Now, in late May, according to their website, in late May, there will be three more colorways. There will be the Paris, which is red, the Reykjavik, which is, for those of you who know, the capital of Iceland, and I am pronouncing it correctly, Reykjavik, is going to be a green dial, and then there will be a New York which is a blue dial, but all with the same basic um, design of the of the dial, with the uh, the sandwich look and the uh, cutouts in the mid part, and you know, hands will be the same pretty much. Now these watches retail on the website for one thousand one hundred and thirty nine euros. Uh, I did a conversion to real money on my iPhone, and uh, that was a snapshot in time because we all know that currency rates vary from day to day. 
But in real currency, uh, U.S. dollars, that comes out to approximately $1,378 at current exchange rates. Now, something happens between now and when you decide to buy the watch and the dollar gets stronger, the euro gets weaker, or vice versa. That will move the conversion rate around a little bit. But I think around $1,375 to, you know, Fourteen hundred dollars, somewhere in there, for this watch, is a is a safe bet if you're budgeting. Uh, not a bad price for a a, a French-made Swiss movement uh, dress watch with a a very solid movement, uh, nice design, uh, well built, uh, good. Uh, really good finish on this watch. I mean, it looks beautiful. Um, just got to do something about the strap there over at New Carl. Uh, this is um, this is not a good. Uh, a, a, a watch strap on a, on a watch that you're marketing to the world, um, not just a certain segment of the world, um, where you're putting a watch strap on here that will barely fit a seven and a quarter inch wrist uh, is not good. And then, of course, you only give five holes, so you're limiting yourself on the low end or the small end, too. And you're li eliminating all the guys out there with bigger wrists than mine. So you got to think about that, guys. Or if you're a potential buyer, you're going to have to think about maybe I've got to go buy a different uh, watch strap from a different place uh, almost immediately if my wrist is bigger than, say, seven and a quarter inch or maybe even seven. So, but, you know, it's early in the production stage for these watches, so um, maybe they can do something about it. But that's all I really have to say about this watch. I mean, it's I'm going to pack it up in the next day or two, and I'm going to send it off to the next guy on the tour and uh, see what he uh, thinks about it. I, I think this is a hell of a watch. I think it's pretty good value for money with Swiss movement, um, under $1,500, dual sapphire crystals, well-built, beautifully finished, very unusual-looking case design. Certainly not going to see this on everybody's wrist. I think it's worth the money. Just got to think about that strap problem. But I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to go into my usual closing spiel. <laughs> if you liked the video, and I certainly hope you did, found it entertaining, informative, and useful, please click that thumbs up button for me. That does help with the YouTube search algorithms. The more likes a video has, the more likely... That video will show up in a YouTube search. And the more likes a video has in a search, the higher up on the search results uh, that video will appear. So it does help bring people to the channel. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you are going to be a nasty little troll and you're going to either leave bad links to bad places on the web or you're just going to be insulting and nasty and obscene, I will, as I always do, simply delete the comment and block the commenter. Uh, if you're new to the channel, of course, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you found me. Uh, feel free to uh, watch as many videos as you want. All I ask in return is that before you leave, please click the subscribe button. And when you do that, don't forget to click the bell icon next to it so that when I upload new content, you will be alerted when the uploads release. And when I do live streams, which I do every Wednesday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, or other times during the week as time and uh, opportunity present themselves, you will be alerted to that as well. In the meantime, uh, be careful out there. It's a dangerous old world, and I want you all to be safe, be well, and see me in my next video. <laughs>